and welcome to another of my podcasts. I'm so pleased that you join me today. In the last 18 years that I've been working with children and young people, I have learned that the greatest threat to their well-being is to not feel a sense of belonging. In fact, when peer relationships are challenged, the importance of grades, academic engagement, sport and previously enjoyed hobbies pale into insignificance. This is in line with evolutionary psychology research and goes some way to reveal how natural selection has shaped the human nervous system for threat detection and cooperation. In the present day, however, the fear of being ditched, ghosted, dumped or excluded are genuinely social emotional stress inducers and as a preventative strategy, young people will work very, very hard on maintaining social equilibrium. When a threat of exclusion is heightened, or even when the threat of reduced opportunity to engage arises, parents may notice behavioural change. They may notice decreased academic engagement and motivation, a lack of interest and enthusiasm, and a general lack of concern for anything else around them. Not only does this give off an I don't care attitude, but it also manifests the problem when the issue is reflected in the student's academic results. Furthermore, parents with a view to supporting young people's mental health and well-being may then increase focus on reducing the young person's screen time. After all, on the surface it makes sense, poor grades equal parental strategies to improve them by reducing distractions. However, I suggest that this is not the solution. The power struggle that will ensue will only perpetuate the issue of belonging. The family will experience increased challenging behaviours, heated debates and tantrums. For when screen time is threatened, the perceived risk to belonging is increased, escalating the perceived threat of exclusion. So rather than working with you to reach an agreement to reduce screen time, young people are more likely to become rebellious and deceitful in finding other ways to feed the need to belong. Harmonising the family and improving academic performance will be much better achieved through a two-step process. By reaching mutual agreement on social emotional screen time, combined with regular discussion and challenge to the misaligned evolutionary response to belonging. After all, feelings are not facts, and challenging negative thoughts can easily eradicate the threat. In practice, it's worth asking your young people the following questions. For example, besides social networks, where else might you feel you could belong? Religion, family, home country, for an example. Besides achieving temporary reassurance gained from tapping on your friends, what can you do to create stronger bonds and memories? For example, a focus on character strength of creativity. For example, a friend might keep a one-off homemade gift much longer than they would keep one of a thousand emoji messages. These creative perspectives will challenge that evolutionary threat. I hope that this perspective, albeit counterintuitive to some, will help you find a solution to screen time and bring some peace to your home during these challenging times. If you would like to discuss further, you can contact me for an appointment via the link below. Take good care for now. Bye from Miss Jen.